Android 16 Developer Preview 1 has been released this week, and in this video, I'll be showing you an easy way to install it. This process shouldn't take more than around 10 minutes to install, but that will largely depend on how fast your internet connection is, since most of the time will be spent downloading the firmware itself. We'll be using the Android Flash tool here today, so you will need to have a PC with a browser that supports web USB, like Chrome or Edge. You will also need to have a supported Google Pixel device, which includes any phone in the Pixel 6 series, Pixel 7 series, Pixel 8 series, Pixel 9 series, or the Pixel Fold. You will also be able to install this on the Pixel tablet as well. Your device must have the bootloader unlocked, and the process to do that will vary depending on the hardware. So, in an attempt to prevent this video from being longer than it needs to be, I'll include some links to dedicated bootloader unlock guides in the video description below. And you'll also be able to find those links in the pinned comment so that they are easier for everyone to find. You will also need to enable USB debugging mode, which is done by enabling developer mode first and then toggling the USB debugging feature from within the new developer options menu. And then you'll need to allow USB debugging access after you connect the phone to the PC with the Android Flash tool. And I'll also have guides that go over these steps linked down below as well, just in case there are some folks who need help there as well. With all of that done, we're gonna connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable and then we're going to open up a link to the Android Flash Tool website within our supported browser. That URL is flash.android.com slash preview slash baklava dash dp1. But I'll have this linked down below as well. Once you're on this page, you're going to see a prompt here asking to allow ADB access. So we're going to allow that. And then your page should look something like this. We're going to click on this drop down menu here so that we can select the device that we have connected to our PC. And then you're going to want to click on the pencil icon around here to get some additional options on this page. Now we do need to make sure that the wipe device option is selected since we're going to be switching to a major new update to Android here. The lock bootloader option will be selected. However, I highly recommend that you uncheck this box so that we keep the bootloader unlocked since there have been some past betas that have caused a boot loop. You could enable any of these if you want. However, I'm going to leave these unchecked and we're going to keep the force flash all partitions checked. With all of that done, we're going to click on the blue install build button here. So this gives us a summary of what's going to happen. We're going to flash our Pixel 8 with the Android 16 developer preview 1. Go ahead and click on the confirm button here and then I accept. During this process, you will see your Google Pixel reboot multiple times. Off the bat, you're gonna see the firmware downloaded. So again, this will take some time. And it's going to be important to not interact with our device unless instructed to do so by this page. We want to make sure that we are not unplugging the device and it's a good idea to just not mess with the USB cable at all so that your phone or tablet maintains a solid USB connection 
during this process. After the firmware finishes downloading, you'll see the phone reboot as the web browser extracts all the files from that firmware download. And you're gonna see the various images flashed to the partitions on our phone. So again, we're gonna let the Android flash tool do the work for us. You will see it stick at this super partition page longer than the others since it is a large file that is being flashed. But again, just don't mess with the USB cable and let the flash tool do everything. After Android 16 developer preview has been installed, you'll see this green message here and your Google Pixel will reboot one last time. You'll see your phone boot to the Android activation screen. And then once you get through that, you can check the Android version within the About Phone section to make sure that Android 16 has been installed properly. And you can tell that by looking for Baklava as the Android version. It's important to note that this is a developer preview of Android 16, which is released even before the first beta build. So there are bugs to be expected, and we are likely to see some apps not working properly. It can take some time before things get to the point where this early release can be used as a daily driver, but that's definitely not going to stop people from trying. So make sure that you keep your important data backed up in case you aren't happy with the performance or stability of this update. I'll be sure to share any issues that I come across within the community tab of the channel here, but I would love to hear from all of you as well. So use the comment section below to share your thoughts about the early release of Android 16. And please, Remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.